And that's where we begin here at six. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Angie Casada. Ken Watlington has the evening off. The accident happened last night on South Memorial Drive. The victim is identified as a student at Lake Forest Elementary here in Greenville. Nine on your sides, Abigail Velez joins us live from the school. And Abigail, what can you tell us? Angie, a tragic incident. The Greenville Police Department identified the victim as nine year old JC on Epps, who later died from his injuries at ECU Medical Center. And today I spoke with Pitt County Public Schools to talk about what resources are available for his teachers and peers. Just making sure that we're there for students and doing our best to console them in a really tough time for students. Police say they got the call Thursday night around 730 that a person had been hit by a vehicle on Memorial Drive. Jason was taken to ECU Health Medical Center where he later died. Um, we also partner with mental health agencies for all of our schools. Lake Forest is covered by integrated family services. And so if a parent um, felt like their student was struggling or if we see a student struggling beyond the typical grief process, then we can make referrals out to that agency and they serve the students at school. Uh, with parent permission. PCS says they will remember JC on for being a bright light in the community. Good student, really good kid. It was obvious today um, with the number of kids that were impacted um, that he had a lot of friendships. Nine on your side reached out to NCDOT. There are sidewalks on both sides of the road there. There are there, there's crosswalks at Third Street and Memorial and Fifth Street and Memorial. And uh, I think they crossed, the children crossed in between those intersections, it looks like. And they were unattended by adults, too. It's just a terrible tragedy. PCS asks the community to be considerate of those affected during this time. Continue to if you keep this family, you know, the community of Moywood, as well as our Lake Forest staff, um, you know, and students in your prayers. The Greenville Police Department identified the driver of that vehicle that hit Epps to be a 54 year old female who stayed on scene and is cooperating with police. They also say that this is an ongoing investigation and anyone with information should call. Live in Greenville, Abigail Velez, 9 on your side.